everybody. Let's draw a castle together today. Kindergarten has been working on this project, but I thought it would be fun for anyone to create a castle if they would like to. So the first thing we're going to do is find a piece of paper. So if you can find one, yay. At the bottom, you're going to draw a line for the ground. This is the ground the castle will be on. If you want to make a moat later, you can. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because as you know, the ground is not perfectly straight. On one side of your paper, you're going to make two lines. These are going to become towers. So two lines, not all the way up to the top. We need to leave a little space there. And then we're going to draw the top part of the tower. This is called a crenellation. A crenellation is just a fancy wall like that. Then you can draw a roof for your tower. Make a triangle. You can make a flagpole at the top and you could draw a flag that's long and pointy like that. There's other types and I'll show you other ways of drawing flags when I do the other towers. Uh, but for now, I'm just making that kind of a flag. And then I'm making shingles, very simple shingles for the roof of the castle. Castle windows a long time ago were long and skinny because they did not have glass in them, so they needed to keep the heat inside the castle. There are different shapes. You could make it just a rectangle. You could make it have a point at the top. Mine are rounded. You could put as many windows on your castle tower as you want. We're going to make another tower on the other side of your paper. Don't worry, we're going to do something in here later. Draw another crenellation. Now, if you want your tower to be a different height, you could do that. That's totally fine. You could make your castle uh, roofs be different shapes is always a fun shape. It reminds me of Hershey's Kisses. You can make it look like it has a swirl on it, like a like a ice cream or something like that. Or then if you want a fancier flag, you could draw your flag like that. These windows are going to be pointed on this tower. You can make all of your roofs and all of your windows the same type. I'm just giving you options for the types of windows you could create. Then in between your towers, we're going to create a wall. Crenellations again. And then we need to have a big doorway in our wall so that if you have friends coming to visit, you need to have a big door so that they can ride their horses through. There were no cars when castles were made, but people did come to visit on big horses. Now ours will have a drawbridge. A drawbridge is like a big door. When it's closed, friends can't come in. When it's open, they can. Now, if you want to, uh, you could draw a shield shape. This, this tells friends who you are, who lives here. So you could draw a heart, a star, cat, dog, a panda, anything you want. I like snails, so I usually draw a snail. But you could draw whatever thing you want. Animal, piece of pizza, whatever you want. On this side, I'm going to draw a torch. This torch is kind of like, uh, imagine a porch light at your house. So when the porch light is on, it lets people know you're home or that you need light to get inside your house. So this torch is kind of like the same thing. If you want to, you could draw another tower in the center, but you don't have to. I'm not going to. I'm going to draw another shape down here. This is going to be the moat. 
to draw little wavy shapes to make it look like there's water down there. No, they actually did not put alligators in moats. <laughs> you would not want to swim or let anything swim in that moat. It was gross. Now up in the sky, if you want to, you could draw clouds, you could draw dragons, you could draw a rainbow, you could do the sun if you want to. And then when you're done, you can color it. I hope you had fun. Bye.